All right, so let's go over the plan to make cubane. So we will get to this in a second, uh, but our goals are to make cubes, don't get raided, don't explode, and limit the amount of accidental fires. So moving on. Uh, so references here are very important. So the, the main of the information is going to be coming from this paper, which for me in the U.S. for some reason was very hard to get my hands on without paying like $48 or something. Um, and then we have some YouTube references here. This is where all of the main information will come from for basically the first half of the project. And for the second half of the project, it'll be this paper um, and, you know, the other section that's down here that would be, you know, a mile long. So just different references and different papers. So we'll, we'll get into more details when we get there. Okay, so going over the plan a little bit in, in a little bit more detail right here about, just imagine there's cyclopentanone there because we don't, we haven't made that, uh, we have the materials for it, we just haven't made it yet. And this paper, this is from the paper, and it starts one step ahead of us. So we're kind of on step negative one, I guess, and this is step zero. And essentially, this is the, uh, the, the protecting group on the cyclopentanone, so this is the uh, key tail. Um, so, basically, from what I have found on YouTube, um, only two other people have, have been to step negative one, two or three, and only explosions and fire has been to step zero, and of course he's beyond that as well. So this should be very interesting. It was very uh, limited amounts of information for home chemists past this point right here. So it's, well, I have very good confidence that we will uh, get to this point, but the uh, ultraviolet step is going to be a little bit difficult. They obviously, in this paper, uh, you know, these guys are intense. They're using like 100 liter reactors and obviously, you know, I don't, I don't have my hands on anything like that. So they were using a Pyrex reactor with like a medium pressure mercury lamp. So, but we've come a long way in LED technology. So we're going to try to build our own little reaction chamber and uh, go from there. Even, you know, even month by month with this UVC uh, tech in LEDs, it's, it's gone so far just because COVID has just supercharged that. So getting back to step negative one, so we'll make our cyclopentanone and then we are going to, what this step is, we're going to huck this protecting group on there, which is ethylene glycol. So we're going to react up ethylene glycol and make our key tail and then we're going to brominate and then we will do our deals all the reaction and get mighty confusing here and here then we're gonna hopefully successfully do our uv step and then for a lot i i would like to make a lot of this because i'd like to save some of this so we get back to the i i don't know how to get back to the slide <laughs> but we'll get back to the uh, octafluorocubane or the perfluorocubane um, because it's the only it's it's only just been synthesized so this is going to be a crazy end goal um, of this process uh, we start that process from here so and we can also do some other funky things from this step too so I'd like to make a lot of this um, however first we're gonna go to here uh, just as a proof of concept you know can we do this so we'll do a bunch of smaller procedures throughout the plan. Uh, we need to make all of the starting materials. Uh, we already made the ethylene glycol here. We're going to need to make the bromine, the dioxane, the methanol. Um, there's a few other things here. And we'll show the, uh, the drying and everything there and, and all of that that uh, goes into everything. Because we need to do most of this in a really dry environment. So our, our reagents are going to need to be 
really dry. <laughs> I'm not entirely concerned with a lot of these steps up until the UV step, because obviously, you know, that's, that's a big unknown. Um, because we're going to be using different processes at that point, so we're going to... This, this whole process is kind of, um, you know, there, there's no set process to this. Uh, it's kind of do your research and take in a whole bunch of information and, and do your best and, and hope for it, you know. So, concerned about that a little bit. And then the only other thing would be this bromine step because bromine is just notoriously hard to keep around and I would rather not ampule it. So we're going to try to make it as we need it. So just on sort of a final note here, we're also going to be using materials that are as available to the regular consumer as we can. So we'll be using hardware store materials and things like that. And we'll be doing that as much as we can. Obviously, we can't do that with everything that's impossible with this process. Um, and then there are stupid things like the barium hydroxide you can get from sparklers. But for some reason where I live, the sparklers were like, a dollar a pop so like to get just a little bit of barium hydroxide was way more expensive than just to buy it um, so I, I don't know what we have against sparklers but so we're gonna get our, our materials um, you know from from easy to get places uh, and lastly um, I'm not gonna be showing like in-depth specifics of amounts and things like that because I don't want this to be kind of like a, a, a how-to DIY video um, unless you want to know how to get put on a watch list as fast as possible. So that is our totally improvised and BS plan where I'm sure everything will go wrong. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow along and wish us luck.